Morning. <laughs> that was a jump out. You're trying to surprise me. I didn't know you were going to be there. <laughs> Just sucking the money out. Ooh. We're back. It's week two. Well, I bought the coffee and I've got the cash. So let's get on the road, people. Roll the credits. Dutch Up On Tour, the new TV series that takes you, dear viewer, all around the country as me and Gav buy as many toys as we possibly can and pop them in this van. Over 30 shops in the UK. Action figures, dolls, Star Wars, weird stuff, Transformers, aliens, Thundercats, bootlegs, He-Man. From all the way down south to all the way up north, east, west, Wales and Scotland, we're covering it all. We'll have rare items and small favourites. <laughs> so join me, Joe, Gav and Matt the cameraman as we take this Toy Shop, Shop on, on Tour. tour. Right, it's Bank Holiday Monday. Where are we going? Toy Planet. We are going to Toy Planet at yes. Wantage. Yes. This toy shop's different from any other toy shop how we're do you, going How to. would you describe this toy shop? Big. Big. I've heard it's very big. Big. Yeah. Be able to hear an echo in there. Yeah. I'm, I'm expecting quite a lot from this toy shop. But it's going to be a good day. Right, here we are outside Toy Planet Wantage and uh, yeah. It looks huge. Let's go in and see what it's Let's all about. In. Morning, fellas. Morning, Come morning. On in. Right. Oh, it's nice and warm in here as oh, well. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> it's free. Oh, it's heating on, so. It, it smells all no new. Yeah. So, here we are with Steve from Toy Planet. Steve. Good morning, guys. Nice to having... see you. And yeah. thank you for coming down to see me. Thank you very much for having us, mate. So, how long have you been? How long have you been set up? Because the shop's huge, isn't it? It's the, probably the biggest shop we're going to go and see on this. Yeah, space we've been tour. in here since April. Right. So, like during the last lockdown, it was a basic a building site, so we've had to refurb the whole building. But we've got all the interaction in now, which is what I wanted in the store. So, if you follow me down this way, so we do a lot of retro gaming. So we do everything from Sinclair Spectrum, which is down in the end on the left, right the way through to PS5. So we do lots and lots of that. That's a big, big pile of our market. All the signs above were all handmade. Everything was bespokely made in here, including Pac-Man on the ceiling. And then over here, we got all our arcades. So we refurbed uh, Daytona USA. Oh, you got a Daytona? Yeah, Daytona awesome. USA. Oh, great. Can all we undo right. this, Steve? Yeah, of course you can. Come on in. What's it, mate? Uh, we've got a Turtles in Time. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got. Oh, that's a, nice. That's a nice touch. That one I have made. That's yeah. got all the Nintendo games on it. So that's a giant Game Boy. Advanced. This feels nicer quality than my actual steering wheel in the van. I, <laughs> van. Oh, I love you, arcade racer. Yeah, that's from original yeah, Star Wars I know, racer. I know the machine. And the, to make a finishing touch, this is from a 1970s fairground. Very nice. So it love says it. family fun, and it says video games the other side. I made it the way we wanted it. It's really good. It's really impressive, Steve. It's lovely to see that like, everything's really nicely laid out. It's such a big store that you've kind of got space for all this stuff, and it's yeah, it's great. It makes it unique, I think. That's it. Yeah. Um, and you've got the pick and mix as well, Lego. Yes. Yeah, we do a lot of that. It's one of our biggest things that we do. Wow. Um, so we do a lot of sets. We do a lot of retired sets, and then we do all the pick and mix. So oh, yeah. this table took me 20 hours to stick all the Lego on it to cover the whole wow. thing. <laughs> Brilliant. And then, of course, we had this horrible pipe. So we made it green, and if you follow the pipe nice. along, and now it's a Mario corner. That's really good. Yeah, imagine bringing your kids in. You've got the Lego to play with, you've got the arcade games, you've got toys, there's some vintage toys as well. Yeah. More of those in a minute, because I want yeah. to obviously, that's what I'm that's all what about. Yeah. And <laughs> if, if that wasn't enough, you've got a... 1979 original Dalek nice. from Tom Baker. It's signed by Tom Baker on the top. That was found in a barn in Bristol. It had been sat in a barn for 30 years in a barn. There was that one and the gold one, the leader of that actual episode. But predominantly what we're known for is Star Wars. So we do from loose and box Star Wars, we do a big range of He-Man as well, Turtles, and then we picked up a big graded collection. So this is a third of what's left of the graded collection that we've produced, bought, mocks, and then all the graded, all the box down through there. And probably one of the most best things I've had recently is probably this 12 inch Chewy sealed. 1977, 12 inch Chewy sealed. And you don't see many of those around. Every day we've got boxes and stuff coming in. 
Nice super bit of Action Force and G.I. Joe. We've got some nice A-Team stuff as well. Good price, Dynamite Blaster. He's got £55 on that, which is a that's good value, isn't it? Beautiful condition as well. Now, there's lots of graded Star Wars in here at the moment, which is fantastic. I know it was a huge collection they had in, and the dregs of that are still left. But what's really caught my eye is this. Stretch Armstrong. So this is not the 70s one, this is the 90s remake. But these now, these are getting on. They're a really, really cool item. They're a big, heavy item, so this typically, like they all have, the box has got issues because it's such a heavy toy. But it's really nice to see one in its box. You don't want to stretch them anymore because you probably will break. But at the same time, just a nice moment in time. These are the things that I was finding at the car boots years and years ago when I first started out. And they weren't worth much money. But now, good news. Really good up and coming toy that. And it's got lots and lots of history because of the originals as well. Something you don't see every day. A 90 plus grading droids 3PO. Very special, 90 plus for an AFA is like, it's unheard of. You very rarely get a grade that good. And on a figure that rare as well. Fantastic. Got some nice graded stuff. They're all quite good grades as well. All generally eight, 85 as an all. It's just the artwork on the Masters of the Universe boxes. You know, someone's, someone's sat and hand painted that. Star Wars character soaps. <laughs> I had these when I was a young, a youngster. What's happening with stuff like that, the weirder stuff, it's the guys who've done it all already. They've got all the figures, got all the vehicles. Where'd you go from there? Soaps, toothbrushes, pencil cases, weird stuff like that. And that's where I am with it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's the revolver. It's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Mars Attacks, now these are cool. Tim Burton's Mars Attacks. Look at them. And what's not, oh, he's got both as well. Does it work? Here we go. Oh, deny. <laughs> but let's get them both, put both together. Like, this is the one I like. The, Very nice. The really crazy looking. The angry one. Yeah. That's, that's real Tim Burton design, isn't it, that one? What a weird yet brilliant film. Based on Tox cards. Yes. It's nice. It'd be nice to get hold of some of them, wouldn't it? Some of the original Tops Mars Attacks cards. Yeah. And the figures as well. You see more of these than you do these. Toxic waste sludge dump. I'd imagine this is, you know, similar to the slime pits, the uh, He-Man slime pit. Six packets of toxic sludge powder included. What is in that? <laughs> We don't even ask. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? And it's rubbish. It does look like one of those old Cadbury's machines that you used to get for Christmas. <laughs> I quite like it though, it's quite nice. So I'm cooking up a storm. I'm in the graded cabinet. I've not dared look at the droids C3PO because we know this is a weakness of mine. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm assured, is, is £900, it's a lovely grade, it's a 90 plus. So the droids line, as everybody will know, that's my weakness. I love droids, they're great. So the cartoon series that followed the films, and we know, I didn't have a telly. But I just love them because they're different, because I didn't see them over here. So this, as a dealer, the first time I saw one of these was as a dealer. And I didn't know what it was, I had to find out, and I didn't watch more, I had to own one. And uh, I'm glad to say I have but at the same time, and I've got one now, but I was still tempted by him. 90 plus grade, amazing. Lily Leddy, Yoda. So made for the Central American market. He's different in his color. So this is a standard, this is a uh, Hong Kong made, alleged green snake. It's a very green snake though, look at the snake. So the normal ones you find a brown snake, orange snake. And it is one of those things, I prefer my figures loose, personally. I like loose, mint figures. So if you don't like the grading thing, that's up to you. You can always knock them out of the very grading cases. So I've picked a few out, so I'm hoping that Steve will do me a, a bonzer deal at the end. 
So there's times when you see a toy that you kind of go, I've not really seen that before. But I really like this, this took out to me straight away because it's video command, which obviously dates it. So this has got to be, I'm guessing early 90s. Um, and he looks cool. And what I loved about this sort of thing was, somebody's obviously put a lot of love and time into this. I don't think it work anymore. Nope, denied. But on his personal profile on the back, Max is the leader of all video commanders. His real name is Brian Maguire. He was born in Fayetteville, North Carolina. His dad was an army copter pilot stationed at Fort Bragg. It goes on and on and on. Somebody's written all this. And then it tells you about the mission that he's been on. You've read almost like a story about him before you've actually got him out of the box. With his commands, his face changes. It comes up on his, on his little screen there, which is really cool. But unfortunately, the batteries were included in this, which means he's going to be a bit of a task to get him working again. So, Steve. Yes. I'd like to buy some figures. I've picked a few out, so I've got two layer best bins. I've got a Warrock. I've got a Stormy. I've got a first 12 layer who is, let me tell you, she's a 75 grade. Which is Paul. <laughs> which isn't the best, but she doesn't look like a 75 grade to me. I think she's Her absolutely lovely. Anything. She's really, really nice. She's tempted to break her open and send her back for grading. Yeah, she's lovely. It's her, and we've got, obviously, shop favourite. I think it's one that you like as well, Steve. Yeah, I love the hours, yeah. And Jawa as well. And Yoda's are my weakness as so, well. So, Steve, you've, you've got a price on those. Okay. What sort of price can you do me for the bundle? For the bundle, we'll call it 750 the lot. 750. Okay, and what would that be retail? Retail it would be about 1100, so I'm quite happy to do 750 in the trade. 750, okay. Let me have a minute to work that out. I'll be right back with you, viewers. Okay. What sort of deal <laughs> could you do on that one? To you, 200. 950. For that and those. This is 80 grade. And how much could this be? Right. I'm quite happy to do that one to you for 800. 800 quid. Is that tempting? It's day six. <laughs> I mean, the only way, the reason why they've graded 80 is because of the sticker on the controller. Yeah. Uh, the Sonic controlled land speeder is very hard to find in the UK. Mm -hmm. I only found on the US market and it's amazing. Um, Kenna did a job on this. And basically, yeah, it was Sonic controlled, so it, uh, you could actually recreate the movie, you know? And it's a lot bigger than the, uh, yeah. the standard land speeder as well. So that's very tempting. I am in deep tempt. <laughs> I'm looking at the sand crawler. How much is a sand crawler, Steve? Right. I know they're hard to get. They are. And especially when the, the actual unit's not been stickered. And how straight is that line? <laughs> so here we have an unused Jawa sand crawler. It's UKG, graded at 80. And the only reason it's an 80 is the sticker on the actual remote control up here. And this is a grail piece for most Star Wars fans and collectors. It's not to scale at all. It was, as far as I was concerned, it wasn't scaled. But this was the toy that I lost my mind over at a toy fair. I was with a very well-known toy dealer at a toy fair, and it was one of my first. And this guy wandered up, and out of his little hold all bag came this Jawa sand crawler. Now, at the time for me, this was like my head went <laughs> because I would just lost it. And I was on his stand, and this guy pulled it out of the bag, and I just went, how much is it? Which is when you're on somebody else's stand to do that is extremely rude and extremely <laughs> naughty. And I was told off thoroughly by the other toy dealer. Um, and, uh, but he did allow me to buy it though, bless him. Um, so yeah, so I love the Jawa Sandcrawler. This is one, I've had a, a lot of these over my time, but it's all special to see one, especially when it's in somebody else's shop. What's it doing in this shop? It should be in my <laughs> shop. This isn't done. <laughs> I've got a feeling it's probably gonna be too strong because I do get quite a few of these from the States, but I'm going to ask the question, Steve. To you? Yeah. 1,500. 1,500 quid. 
It's a really good price on these people. I'm always fair. And you can have it to scale, just put it further away, Joe. Yeah, good point. Yeah, this put the jar about here. <laughs> the jar over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, and before, can I just ask about that? <laughs> How much is the uh, cloud car? car? This is turning to the Columbo section. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. Yeah, <laughs> my wife. <laughs> 350 on him, but 350. I could do that one at 225. 225. On an 85 grade. He can go over there because I think we're going to be taking him home. <laughs> I mean, look, it's flipping out. It's so cool. It is cool. We had the unstickered version on a 90 grade that sold at, at Echo Live, and that one went for 500. Yeah, that's really nice. I think what I'm going to do, while I have a think about all these amazing Star Wars items you got, I think I'm going to have to go and have a bit of a, a gaming session with them, beat Gav or something. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I think a Street Fighter competition between the two of you. That'd be good. Like... I'm going to be Guile. Big green dude. There you go. Ooh! No! <laughs> Tight, there we go. <laughs> oh, man! It's all about that single button hammering. <laughs> That was awesome. All right, guys, if you want to see the next episode, like, subscribe. It's all down there. Click stuff. 225. Two. Yeah. 750. 750. Okay. Anything we can do on the price with the three together? Push you a bit harder, Steve. Eleven hundred. Deal. Yeah. Thanks very much, Steve. That's really That's good right. of you. Thanks for working with me on that. That's all right, buddy. So I bought a few things. So for eleven hundred pounds, Steve's done me a really good bundle deal. We've got the eighty-five graded loose snow speeder. We've got the eighty grade Torrent and Probot playset, and we've got figure-wise, we've got two. Layer best pins, first 12 layer, and Jawa, Stormtrooper, and Warrock. So I'm pleased with that for 100 quid. It's, uh, it's a nice little bundle. Steve's really looked after me there, so. Thanks You're happy, much, we're happy, so that's good. Brilliant, yeah. thanks a lot. Oh, this is my business partner, by the way, Tom. With Toy Planet, we got our uh, website, which is thetoyplanet.co.uk. Um, we've also got a big Facebook group and, and Facebook page. Uh, we're on Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. It's been a lot of fun as well. Yeah. Got a bit of gaming. Only because you won. Only because you won. <laughs> but now it's time to go. Thanks yeah. very much, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. Nice you some, uh, You're welcome back anytime. Toy shop on tour stickers oh, for you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers, guys. Matt, you filming? Yeah. We've got a comic shop. Decent. We found a shop with, and also first sightings for me of the new retro Ecto-1 at the back there. Oh yeah, I've not seen one of them in, not in seen the one flesh of them. so far. Yeah, we've got some of the old figures down the back as well, so it doesn't go with it. Actually, Brilliant, so you've got a bit of vintage as well. Yeah, we have some vintage bits and everything floating around. You've not got a Velma, have you? Unfortunately not. We've got a vintage at -at. It's quite nice. No chin guns and no ball cover, but unbroken at the points where the chins fit in. Oh yeah! The reaction figures. Oh, awesome. I mean, not often I see a figure from reaction and think awesome, but I do think awesome about that. We were originally a publishing company for yeah. Old Milk actually sit there and started. Mainly Doctor Who books, the old Robin Hood. Huge following in Rygate. It's a great place for the kids, both young and old, really. That was great. Oh, what a surprise that was. I know what to use really the loop. Cool. bay. Herm bay. Where are we off to? Ram. I know, it's a home of quality fish and chips. That's nice. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, ram toys. What's he going to have? What kind of thing? Mark has a bit of everything. Oh, cool. There's everything from railway right through to like die cast and, awesome. you know, lots of film based toys. So it's going to be great. Here we are, 
Ram collectible toys. Here we go. Oh, the Lego sign, look at that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's quite nice. Brilliant, come on. Mark. Joe. How are you, mate? Can do a cough? There we go. Hey. How's things? Gavin? Yep. Sweet. That's it, and then you've met Matt the cameraman. Hello, Matt the cameraman. Matt with a hat. Matt with a hat. <laughs> Take your time, plenty to see. Brilliant. Thanks very much. We're going to look around. So, Mark, how long have you had the shop now? Well, it will be eight years October. I love it. Yeah, that's yeah. the best part, isn't it? Do you still get that buzz when you're picking something up? Every time. You know, yeah. you come in with big stack of boxes, you open the lid and you're like, oh. Yeah, it's what's in the, it's Ghost aisles. Bumps. Fine, it's the scrabbling down in the bottom of the boxes to find out what bits go with what, and it's all that excitement. Yeah. Yeah, I still that, that little little weapon or that little helmet. That you've been searching for. Uh-huh. Mm. Sometimes you have to uh, clear clear off a little detritus to get to it, but it's oh, yeah. worth it. There's a lot of cleaning involved. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. There's something through here. Now it's quite dark here, so I don't know if you're going to quite be able to see it. And it's not even a toy. It's a limited print from Dick Sprang. This Joker is my Joker. It's like, I think he's the creepiest, most horrible one of them all. Whatever they've done now with modern effects and, you know, and modern illustration techniques, nothing beats this Joker. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful picture. I would have that up in my lounge. It's expensive, though. Oh, look at this. And how nice shape's this in? Ghostbusters Kids Proton Pack. The stickers are barely worn. A little tiny bit there, but nothing to worry about. You've got your Neutrona wand with its, it looks like it has its full length of foam and they are always battered because kids have played with them, kids have properly gone for it with these toys. You've got the PKE meter at the top, which I love that it's got like a digitised ghost print on it. And of course the ghost trap, so you've got a full, a full set there. Every kid in the 80s wanted this. I wanted this, didn't have it. I tell you what, I've personally never seen a boxed one of these. I don't even know what the box would look like. These ones, the smaller ones, like the ghost trap you'll see, they come up now and again. But the proton pack, no, I don't think I've ever seen a boxed one myself. There's just been a new movie, but these are the original Space Jam figures. These, I think these will come through as quite a, quite a big collectible. And I'm sure they're already getting up there now. But the bad guy, the monsters, fantastic I, mean, I just watched it very recently actually and the design in them is amazing and it was all proper old-school animation back then as well not all the CGI like in the new one I'm not knocking the new one though it was not bad one thing I love when you go around these shops is digging out bits and bobs that you just think are cool and that was just straight away I went that's really cool because that would have been something you'd have seen back in the day generic little case Nice R2-D2 sticker on it. What's not to love? Nice little turtles display, sewer play set. Um, we've got the van, Technodome as well. Very cool, love these. Nearly knocked a Darth Vader off there. Really nice to see. Don't call very often. So these, green cars, late issue. These are nice examples, a little bit of edge wear. And somebody's done that thing where they've pinned them all up. Probably had them all on display. It's got a little crack at the top, but as a display piece, it's hard to get. How much have you got on these, Mark? What eye-watering sort of... Okay, so I think this one uh, is up for around four, 4.50. Okay. Um, but, you know, you know your wrestling stuff, uh, they fluctuate. I think they Billy... Do. Uh, dropped by about £100 in the last six months in value. Yeah, yeah. Really nice condition. Twin card. What sort of price have you got on these? Well, we've got the Rockers. Yeah. Uh, so we've got 110. 110. Yeah. You see these, out of all the twin packs, these tend to be the most common, but condition is everything, and they're a really nice example. How, you've had these green cards in a little while now. <laughs> You know, I'm kind of flirting with these. Okay. I've been for some time. What sort of price would you do on the four? Oh, see, you got me on the hot now, haven't you? But let me tell you, I sold, I sold one, two, three kid. Yeah. Uh, Christmas. Yeah. And uh, I had him up for 700, and the guy didn't even quibble. 
Wow. Yeah. But I well, I am not that guy, and I am going to. You're not that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Mark. Yes. That's a foreboding sound when you open the cupboard, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that again. Well, they're wrestlers. They're, they're full of drama. Demolition here. They've got the hats. Dusty Rhodes. He's lovely. Now, these never last long, which means Mark has priced these very well. And I will check those are priced underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Amazing though, you never see him. Very rarely anyway. Really cool. 200 pound piece now, and he is. Yeah. How much have you got on the three? I've got 180 on the three. 180 on the three. Yeah. I think at the moment the uh, the helmets are going for around 25, much. 30 quid. Oh, and more. Amazing. Yeah. So as much as I love these wrestlers, as figures, you know, I'm, you know, I, I can't get near that. But I am interested in those carded ones because, uh, yeah, we'll see what Mark can do for us. So, Pocketeers, created by Tommy. Distributed by Palatai, good old Palatai. And they were basically little before Game & Watch and all that kind of thing, and Nintendo Game Boy had these. And you'd wind them up, and you'd have a little puzzle in the back of the car. This one is so simple. There's four, five pieces that slide up here. The board jiggles about, and you have to slot them into the little holes. That's it, simple. Every one was quite simple. That one had a whole maze. It was kind of like a little version of Screwball Scramble, but much simpler, but harder, I would say. Much more difficult. Screwball Scramble, once you'd mastered it, every time, straight round. Steeplechase, much more difficult. So Mark, how much is Letterbox? I need to check my list to see if I've got that one as well. Got price on 30 quid. Mmm. What's the very best you could do with that one? Okay, um, so what about if we shave a fiver off? Does that sound good? 25. Mm. Yes. Yes? Because the box is so nice and it is in such good shape. Yeah, oh, I can do 25, that's really good. All right, buddy. That's brilliant, thank you. First of all, small soldiers, that's been a bit of a thing with me at the minute like the film, so he's got 10 pounds on him, so I will buy him. I'm not gonna negotiate on a tenner for him, I think he's great. And then there's this rubbish thing. Extremely rare, extremely rubbish. It's exactly the kind of thing I like buying, but it's not complete. Missing quite a few bits. So what is it? No, it's Centurions, it's a, a sort of stationary set they did back in the day. There was a Transformers one, there was various ones, and all are a bit pants, but this one really takes the biscuit as being the worst. It is rubbish, and I love it. It is fantastic. Mark, it's so rubbish, I can't... The kind... It's just... I mean... £35, which I think, for something this rare, is very reasonable. It's so cool. <laughs> Oh, he's amazing! So what are you holding there? Oh, Dennis Fisher, Stretch Monster. This is one of the things that I've been looking for for years and years and years. And they've reached such a massive peak in price now that he's sort of pricing me out, which is so sad, because I really love him. But look, he's, this one's amazing. Look at the condition. I had one of these personally, I had the box and everything. But as, as is the story we hear every day at the shop, sold it at a car boot. I've seen just the heads. Heads alone selling sort of 250 quid. Just the head. But this is a beautiful boxed example. And Mark's been very kind to let me hold him. What an amazing day. I've been wandering around for a while now, and I keep coming back to these four cards. I know you've got like, was it 1,400 quid on the, the four? It's about that. What sort of offer would you take? 
uh, we're talking. You've like, only been a while now. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I have. Yeah. And we're doing a deal on today. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you say to twelve hundred? I mean, more like nine fifty. Let's see if we can do better than that. Okay. There's, um, you can say 11 50. I'll do 11. I mean, I've gone up a lot there. I'll do 11. Okay. All right. All right. We'll do. All right. <sighs> cool, man. Thanks very much. That's a deal. That's a deal. Yeah, He's right. going to get some money now. <laughs> Chitty, chitty bang bang and not the corgi one but it's one that I want to look at you get a dinghy in there that you can inflate wow and it sits on it a lot more frail these why these don't survive and why you definitely would have been allowed a corgi one which also are a bit frail and the wings extend on it as well but I don't want to mess about with it because it's not mine and it is so delicate so Mattel made this. The Korg is the one that you remember, but this is the one that you kind of go, but I've never had it. And you know what? You possibly never will. Not, there's not too many of them left because you've got to, they are so breaky. I, I think I've got- Four and a half, five? 350. Oh, that's good. That's not bad. So the website is www.ramcollectibletoys.co.uk. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just Google us. Thanks for the deal, mate. You're welcome, Brett. Thanks a lot, man. My next step. See you more. That would have been great. That would have been great. Thanks a lot. <laughs>《Hello from a windy Hearn bed. It's really well. windy. It really is windy and cold. Um, <laughs> come to the seaside, they said. It'd be really warm, they said. It's not. It's freezing. I've got shorts on. I thought I was going to go in the sea. No. <laughs> not going to happen. I'm not. Anyway, it's toy of the daytime. Out of, from within the bag. Oh, there's a chip in here. <laughs> um, from within the bag. This rather marvellous layer. She is Star Wars first 12 layer Hong Kong made she's a 75 grade which I think is the harshest grade she is absolutely it is, it? beautiful the capes bang on she's she, cool she look good in the shop yeah okay my toy of the day and I've only bought one toy today so I can guess what that is <laughs> but I'm so happy with it I have been searching for letterbox in a box for so long now I'm only maybe three, maybe four away from finishing my Pocketeers collection. He keeps saying this, <laughs> but he means the UK ones, not the other ones, not the Japanese. Yeah, but that's, the... that's where you go once you finish your collection. Yeah, there you go. Not long to go there till you go down that slippery But I've nearly, uh, I've nearly got all the power toy ones. And yeah, it's brilliant. It's in absolute fantastic shape. The, uh, these plastic bags, he's very clever with his plastic bags. It does make them look sharp, but it is nice. It's a lot nicer than some of the others that you find out there. So that brings to a wrap for today. Yeah. It's cold. I'm going to the pub. Right, come on, Gav. Let's get a pint. <laughs> this is the most excited I've been. We're going into the, uh, the new area. I'm not sure we're going to sell it, but I've never seen one. <gasps> Good to meet you all. Look at this, everyone. Toy shop on tour. Fish and chip shop, not just in Hern Bay, but in Kent. Fish and food, come down. Give us a try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>